At this time, I'm eating a snickerdoodle, a big ass six inch wide cookie. I fucking love cookies or biscuits, depending on what side of the pond you're on. Mmm. Iron Banner. So recently I've gotten back into Magic the Gathering because recently Magic the Gathering has pulled its head out of its ass and decided to start making good sets. Now I ask the age-old question that every Magic the Gathering player who's returning to the game always asks. What are the best decks out there? Well... There are enough playing pieces right now in Magic the Gathering. That's not enough for me to know which are the strongest cards or what are the best decks. I want to know how they win. So my question, cultivated over literal decades of going to school, was best commander deck and how it wins. Now, back in the old days of Google, or internet browser searches, where is he? Oh, over there, okay. Anyway, um, uh, you get a page, and then a number of pages that you can access on the bottom. And Google used to do this by putting a G at the front, and then all these O's, <laughs> uh, with numbers, of course, and then, um, you know, the L-E. Huh, Mojave Menace is still in my list. Um, I don't know why I have them muted. That's <laughs> weird. In any case, uh... What? Yay. So, yeah. Uh, but nowadays, it's not. It's just a continuous, endless scroll. Down, 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 do be do down, down. Anyway, um... Yeah, and, uh... I'm not happy with what I'm seeing as far as results are concerned because not a single one of those web page titles says how it wins. Uh, there's a few pages on how to win at playing Commander, which is fine. I mean, I, we know what the win comms are for Commander. All this time, Doug, you couldn't fucking goddamn reload my gun. Ugh. You either deck your opponent, reduce them to zero life total, or deal 21 points of damage or more with your single commander against them. And that's if you're playing one-on-one. -on -one. Most times you're playing two. Most times you're playing a battle royale, a four-way battle. So, ooh, you took the whole biscuit. <laughs> you want a cookie? I got cookies. I like cookies. Let's have cookies. Cookie! Nice. Um, so, yeah, uh, and I'm like... I don't get it. I mean, how hard is it to find a web page that talks about, you know, how it wins? Because, I mean, I'm not going to click on any of this. Commander decks that win without comboing off. Okay, then how do they win? They must deal direct damage somehow, right? You know, I don't... Yeah, it's just... Yeah, it's frustrating. It's like the internet is designed specifically to keep you there endlessly looking for shit you're never going to really find. Uh... And it is all, the magic is all in how you ask the questions. <laughs> Winning commander decks and how to play them. Because like I said, way back in the late 90s, uh, early 2000s, when I was playing competitive magic, that was kind of the thing, you know, it's just like it wasn't so much about knowing what cards to put in your deck, but how do you play it? You know, you needed to know which cards were prioritized over others as far as, you know, order of operations were concerned. Otherwise, you could, you know, there were some finely tuned machines out there that were very easily fucked up if you didn't do the right. Oh, I should have gotten him. I don't like the vagaries. Oh, that's my internet. Look at that. Yeah. I'm sorry, buddy. You, uh, fuck you, Bungie. I have, like, 50 fucking megabytes pulled down and about a 2020 push-up, so... You both bullshit, babies. Look, this guy should have died. What the fuck? Oh, okay. So we got cheaters in the game, apparently. That I don't know. That's yeah, no bullshit. My internet's way better than that. That's that's fucking bullshit. 
That's, this is what I don't like crossplay. This is why I think crossplay is a freaking joke and a scam. Let's look at that. Seriously. Fucking joke and a scam. So, in any case. So I like these build videos and stuff. And this is kind of ties into Destiny as well as any other game that has components where you can assemble a character build, like, you know, this one here that I use. Um, it's not so much about knowing what pieces at what conditions are they the best to be used, and at what point do you basically sideboard out those items. Uh, I would not have thought that the uh, last word would find its way into this game. Or back into the game. Ooh, we have ammo. Look, we all have ammo! Da, 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 da. Oops, I just wasted that shot. How many more do I have? Oh, I have four more! Look at that! Hey, you know what? I feel a cold chill coming on. Anybody want to play? I got cookies! Cookies! You want cookies? Please accept all cookies. I know where this guy is. Rabbit! Uh, let's go ahead and take the post. I'm going to hide right here. The same thing goes in how to play maps. You know, most people don't think about this corner because it feels like it's exposed. No, I can never break free. I see people pop out of my fucking super so many times, but I never get a chance. Look at that connection! Gee, many chrysalis! What the fuck? Cheating much? I mean, how bad do you need to fucking win? What kind of shallow existence do you have in your world that you need to jack up everybody else's fun? I guess. I don't know. What is it that uh, what is it that Alfred said one time? That some people just want to see the world burn. I, I guess oh, just because. Hey, look at that! So much for bubbles, huh? Nova bomb just cracked that bubble like a fucking soft egg. Fucking a. Oh, fail. Ooh. Ooh. You know what? I'll eat it. I don't care. Ten seconds. <laughs> Still got those points. That's all that matters. I don't know. What do you guys think about this match? I mean, this 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 uh, this mode. Do you like it? I kind of kind of really don't. I mean, I spent the last ten years shooting Guardians' faces. You know, the whole point about holding zones is just. I mean, actively trying to hold the zone. It's just uh, yeah. yeah. It's kind of a kind of anticlimactic. It's a little too a little too tactical for me, a little too strategic for me in this kind of game. I would expect something like that from like say Conan Exiles or Elder Scrolls, but Oh, I swear I saw a red bar on that end. Hello? Anybody home? Anybody home? There you are. I cannot get a target lock. I just body shot him. Fuck it. You're dead. I don't care. I'm tired of fucking trying to skill shot that shit. No, oh, I don't know who you are. You're not supposed to be here. This game has got a wet spot for fucking retaliation medals. That is bullshit, you know? That just, that just kind of shows you what kind of community they're trying to feed here. Oh, what the hell? We got a long shot by Cloud Strike. Nice. At least I went in style. Wee. So yeah, anybody out there who actively uses the internet to search things and fucking, you know, you're trying to avoid confirmation bias, as I truly am, um, and I have a legitimate interest. I want to know what are the commander decks out there that are winning and how do they win. And nobody talks about that. Unless you're willing to sit down for like a 30-minute video, that information, I mean, I could tell you exactly how my, uh, is it Selesnia? This is an old, old uh, pre-release that I have. It's a green-white. Uh, it's one of the guild decks. i close this off for a minute so I don't get... I think it's Selesnian. Or is the guild gate? Yeah, Selesnian. And I know exactly how this wins. It, it removes my opponent's creatures and allows me to just stomp right across the board and munch the face. It's a it's a beater. It's a total beatdown deck. Uh, you know, and if I get uh, if I get super sassy, 
I could summon an elemental, an 8-8 elemental for vigilance. I know exactly how it wins. I know what cards to use to apply pressure with. For instance, if I see anything out there that is uh, excessively brutal and really in the way, ah, devouring light, you know, exile target attacking or blocking creature. Yeah, you want to hit me? Oh, I'm undefended! Bang, you're dead. And it's an instant, you know, that's what you apply it as your card removal. Hour of Reckoning is a board reset, you know, in case things really get out of the hand. And it's a classic style of play. It's, you know, I take away all your character, I take away your blockers, and then I hit you in the face with something super big. My Tremorgoyf deck used to do that. I know how the deck wins. I know what you're supposed to play for it. You know, you, you start off early game dropping a bunch of 1-1 one, one creatures and try to get them the idea that, hey, I'm going to flood my graveyard with lots of little creatures. You've got choices. Block them all and send them to their graveyard so you know the Tremorgoyf is going to hit for 10-10. Or let them come through and chip away at your health, in which case I get an early mid-game. Then if I feel like things are not going exactly the way I want them to, or I want to see what your plan is, I hit him to Turok your shit. This was a black-green deck. So I hit him to Turok you, see what's not, not so much to get cards out of your hand, but to see what you were holding on to. You know, and never Turok on the second or third turn. Always Turok on the fourth or fifth turns. By the fifth turn, you should be mid-game to late-game. Most magic games that I ever played, that's where we were. So, I mean, look at all that. I did that in less than three minutes. I told you how two different deck strategies win the game, how you win with them, and where you want to apply your pressure. Now, I know Commander is 99 cards plus the Commander. There might be some complexity in it, but I'm telling you, there's not that much complexity that you can't dump that info in a paragraph or in a three-minute video. What the hell, people? You get paid by the minute? You get paid by the word? I, I don't understand it. Me, personally, with my time being as limited as it is, for the most part, throughout my working days, uh, I don't got time to sit down for 20-minute videos. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed most people do. In fact, out of respect for the people who are watching this, I'm going to sign off now. You got my point. If you're a content creator, try, you know, try to keep it short. 10 minutes, maybe? I guess? I mean, if you're, if you're producing really good content and, and this is an income for you, then set up a Patreon. Don't, don't rely on YouTube ad revenue. Don't rely on Google ad revenue. Just, you know, set up a GoFundMe or something like that, I guess. What, they, what are the cool kids call that? They'll give me money. Give me a coffee kind of situation. Anyway, thanks for stopping by.